Hello and welcome to this edition where we shall be exploring this other button called the configuration window. So in the configuration window you have the main page. So in the main page you can change the language of your choice here. So depending on the language you understand, Arabic, Chinese, Japanese, you can select any of them according to your preferred language. Even in English language, we have different kinds. We have the Indian English, we have the Canadian English, Australian English. So, but for me, I'm comfortable with this. I can do the same thing here. So you can change the language or the letters that appears on your screen. So in the second is the information. This is select object information. So we want to see how this works. And to do that, I'm going to turn off the atmosphere and click on the star. Let's click on this star. Then I'll bring it to the center. If I click on this star, you would notice that there are so many information about this star. Even some of them can reach up to the ground level. So many information that like this one is even extending to the ground level. This one, look at this Venus, see all this information about Venus. And I think there are just way too much for any typical person that is using a Stellarium. So the reason why we have all this is because all of these information here are checked. So you can choose to keep the ones you want and to untick the ones you don't want. So you can explore this by Checking on the fault, if you check on the fault, it has some basic information checked. If you click on short, it will only give you uh, this short information. And if you come here, it is these four that are checked. If you don't want anything to be displayed when you, when you click on an object, you can just you know, keep it on none. But if you want to have your own, you want to customize your own, information you can do that from here customize and from there you have to select the information that you want to be displayed on your screen for instance if you want the name of the object the name will come out then we have the catalog i think is important too you have the right ascension is unimportant um this is not important this is not azimuth and altitude is an important parameter ecliptic coordinate I don't think it is important. And galac galactic coordinates, they have supergalactic coordinates, elongation. I don't think any of this information is important for me, amateurs or beginners. But if you feel like they are important to you because of the kind of work you are doing in astronomy, you can click on that. Then we have visual magnitude. This is the magnitude that you, the bright, how bright an object is when you are observing it from from your location. Then we have absolute magnitude. So although it is not too important, but I'm, I'm, I want to keep it just there. Then type of the object, double star. Okay, then we have the size. If it's available, we have the velocity. You have the proper motion. You have the distance. I think it is important too. You have the side time constellation. I think it's important. And you have them. So for me, I think these ones are important, okay? But you can go ahead to click the ones that, that you feel are more important to you. Then we have additional information. You can check that because sometimes they contain a bunch of information that are very crucial. Like the, for binary star systems, it could give you information about the distance between these two, those two stars. Then we have the extras. Under the extras, we have the additional information settings. You know, from here, we saw that we saw an additional information button here, but here you can make some changes to this additional information if you want. Then we have um, show ad, um, additional buttons. You know, some of these buttons here can be activated and deactivated from here. For instance, you have the quit button, which is here. It is checked, so I can uncheck it and it will leave from these main buttons here. So I can bring it back again. To come back then you can have full screen 
I can remove it. See what is going on there. I can bring it back. Centering. So I can bring it back. So you can go on and on to a nebula background. So then you can go on and on to activate any button of your choice here. But before I, I would do like to explore what this nebula, uh, nebula background means. Assuming that um, I want to observe a nebula, let's say M27, M27, is that a search? Uh, okay, M27, M27, Macy, you call lock M27, 27, okay, so we have M27, and I zoom in. This is a nebulae. I can use this button to turn on and off this nebula so I can see the stars in the background. You can as well use it to turn on and off all the nebulae in this delirium. So there are so many nebulae here, but I can I can bring them back if I turn it on. Okay, look at nebulae. You have the nebula here, nebula here, nebula here, and even the one that I checked before. So this button is particularly important for um, enabling the nebula in Stellarium. So that is the function. So you can explore some of these other buttons and import them if you want, but I think these ones are enough for me. And later on, you should upgrade your Stellarium from this place. And to do that, you have to connect your computer to the internet. You know, Stellarium can work without the internet. So far, you have upgraded it. So you can upgrade it from here. Then we have the time button um, page. So here you can select time and date if you want time and date to be displayed. If you want the uh, select only date, then display format of date and time. If you want the kind of, if you want this kind of uh, day, month, year, settings if you want it this is for uh day month year is the one i was taught like the one we use in nigeria mostly then we have the month day year this is just mostly used in america and that's it but i'm comfortable with the day month year then you can set your time to 12 hours or 24 hours so i'll select this then you have your two you can explore this tool, but if you observe closely, you can enable or disable some certain things. For instance, you can enable keyboard navigation. If you want to navigate the letter with your keyboard, you can enable that from here. If you want to navigate with your mouse, you can do that from here. If you want to navigate with your um, other things, you can explore some of these functionalities here. Then we have the scripts, and um, this script is not too important for uh, the purpose of this video. And then we have the plugins. Plugin is one of the most important button here. In this plugin, you can add or uh, you can add asteroids, you can add comets to your Stellarium, because when you search uh, for some of these objects, you may not really find them. But not really find them, but you can add them from the plugin. From the plugin, you can add them. And in fact, this is the part we will be dwelling in this in the next video. I'm going to show you how to add asteroids, so you can add comets, and you can even um, add the International Space Station and other satellites. So if you listening to if you're listening to uh, news and there is a new discovery of asteroids or, or comets, or maybe a new satellite was launched in space, or you want to view the the whole star links in space, you can use the plugin to add those satellites or those objects. So that is it for the next time we shall do that. Stay tuned.